Right, welcome to a new video. So we've got the face cam over there. Um, lighting, we got the mic. A whole completely different thing. So if you do enjoy this, make sure you leave a like below. Other than that, let me know down in the comments how this all goes. Does it sound good? Does it look all right? I've got a ring light literally just there. Uh, so I'll adjust that throughout the video, depending on how bright it is, um, the reflecting of the coins. It should sort the glaring because of the, what is it? Well, the lights above, they're really, really bright. And it's what, like midnight now? So yeah, there'd be a lot of glare if I didn't use it. Anyway, we've got 250 pound 50p's. We got our album. I'll show you the album very, very quickly. We're just missing Kew Gardens, Pile Duck, Benjamin Britain. We found Britain in the live stream we last done. 2018 Rabbit. And then quite a lot of Olympics. Our Olympics in this album aren't very good. We've only found a few and pretty much they, they're they all awful. They're not even the top five. So let me know how the face cam is. Um, would you prefer videos with or without it? I won't be upset with whatever you say. But let's cut this open. We've got all seal bags. And yeah, I'll talk for the first few minutes. Let's empty all this out. So... I, like I said, I'll adjust the um, light to however it goes for out. We've got our nice clean mat. And then what we're going to do is, we've got some sort of stain there. But we're going to put all our coins up there. Because we've got the face cam on the left side. So, yeah, let me know what you think about that. This is just a, a little attempt and trial to see how it goes. But I'm not sure how the editing is gonna go so the speeding all that sort of stuff it looks all right to me i don't think i need to change anything just as yet maybe i'll i'll zoom in a little bit but you got a panton at st paul's we'll put that there so you can see it 2012 shield not good enough we don't need that but let me know if you want me to use face cam um the light i think the light's all right we used the face cam for the stream the other day and talking of streams our streaming schedule is probably going to be thursday around 8 30 9 pm every single week uh we'll do a, a good old 12 50 i'm just checking make sure i'm not covering anything up 12 50 maybe a thousand pound each time but we've got a dictionary right there and then anything else at least one olympic is our aim not sure if we'll get that i believe we did find one in our live stream i can't remember off the top of my head which it was but we already had it i think it was table tennis so yeah there is music playing i can't hear the music myself but i've done a, a few little test runs and i think it is all all good um so yeah like i said i'm not sure how the speeding up's going to go but we'll play around with that after everything's all done. We found a Victoria Cross medals. So let me know. Literally, I want to see the comments of letting me know how everything is. Is the lighting okay? Shall I maybe dim it down? Shall I um, turn it up? But I think, is that the brightest it can go? Or can it go brighter? It can go even brighter. But we'll turn it down a tiny little bit because I can see a little bit of a glare. But yeah, for now on, I think in the live streams, we're just going to use face cam because it looks a lot better. I mean, everyone nowadays just wants to see face cam. You know, you want to put a, a face to a voice, voice to a face, all that good stuff. We've got public libraries. You still see that good. Perfect, perfect. But I'm excited because we get some more change. Um, I'm going to take this back to NatWest. I, don't, I got declined for the NatWest business account and the lady phoned me she said she doesn't even know why either because i sent pretty much all the correct stuff so there's no reason for it to be declined but she said wait till um first of october and apply again at the moment i'm not sure if i want to mainly because i've got a personal account i can use for the change machine and i can keep getting change off Lloyd's then so yeah i'm not sure what's gonna happen yet but I still, I don't get the 18 months free, so meaning I still need to pay for everything like I am with Lloyd's. So it's no difference really. 
I mean, NatWest have just got a few things that make getting changed a whole lot easier. But let's see if we get anything for the album today. I'm just thinking in my head how I'm going to speed everything up. But the quality is looking a lot better. I saw a lot of people did say how much better it was on the live streams because at the start or you know for the past month or two we've had the black bars either side and i managed to get rid of that which is you know a lot a lot better now and then this ring light as well is it seems to be doing the job it just looks like i'm filming at like two or three o'clock in the morning which i normally do anyway so it's all right what else we got victoria cross medals we've got suffragettes again but it is a bit grubby we found a suffragette in our last video, did we not? But look at that. That's been through the wars. Damn. Um, you can see that there. That's all right. But I got a few mats just in case. I bought a few off Wrath Tree, so I appreciate that. If anyone does want to buy them, they are in the description. Um, I don't get anything from it. It's just cool to see, you know, if people want to see your logo on their mat. I know a few people have bought them already, so that is awesome to see. Another Panton at St. Paul's. That's not what we want to see. Um, should I talk for the whole of the video? I'm not too sure. That might go on for a little while. Uh, I'm recording through the software, so I'm using the mic. I'm using you know the camera, everything. So I'm not sure if there's a, a cutoff time or anything like that. I'll just keep an eye on the recording button. Make sure it doesn't cut out. And if it does, I'm gonna cry. But yeah, I just wanna see the comments of you guys letting me know how everything is. Do you enjoy the face cam? I know Christopher does it on his videos now, which is, you know, really, really neat. I like that. So, yeah, I mean, when I personally watch videos or live streams, I always like to see the face cams, and if they don't have face cams, then pretty much we got here. Um, Battle Britain, yeah, that's a nice little find, and another Panton. But yeah, I personally like seeing people with face cams, and if they don't, I find it a bit, you know, a bit iffy. Sherlock Holmes, I just don't want to. I want to make sure that um, my hands not underneath the camera like this, or you know, messing around. But if there's any sort of like laggy bits or stuff doesn't add up or it's not in sync let me know and i'll definitely look into it put that that side you can see that then um yeah it should be all right i'm looking at every so often it's all looking good i think face cam's looking all right we've got a big stand i mean you can see a lot of the office what's that oh it's nothing um, give you a little brief insight. I've evacuated from my bedroom because, you know, it's that time of the season for spiders and I don't get any in the office, which is good. But my bedroom's like full of the the big, big ones, which is, you know, not what you want to see. So, yeah, I've evacuated from there and I sleep in there. That's where you can see all the covers on the sofa. Uh, you can see my bag. And pretty much you can see everything. The camera's a, a bit of a wide one. It can stretch around everywhere so that's a little insight we've got a jersey 2012 baywick of jersey is that how you say it i think so still no 2011s yet which is definitely a problem getting scarce now i think we find one every thousand 1250 how long are we going for nine minutes Wow, should we just do a, a whole video of talking? See how everything goes? I think so. I don't want to upload this video now because last time I uploaded the other one at like two o'clock in the morning. And I think a lot of people didn't see it. So I think we'll save this for tomorrow. And that is Tuesday. We had Agatha Christie come out. So a little insight. I've still got a few Agatha Christie's for sale if you're interested. It's like a pound cheaper than the Royal Mint. Uh, that came out Monday. I'm due them, I think, Wednesday, maybe, hopefully. And we've got a few more coins coming out this month, which is, what month are we in? September. We got the Queen's Beast £5 coin. I'm sure most of you do like the Queen's Beast. 
So I thought you'd tell you about that. That's the Greyhound. That is out, I think, within like the next week or so. I'm not sure how, what, what date we're we on, the 14th. So what, we still got another two weeks left of this month. So I imagine on the 1st of next week, not the 1st, the next Monday and the Monday after, if there is one, it's just going to be releases. If you heard that notification, then I'm sorry. I'm not sure how loud that was. So we do the Queen's Beast £5 coin. And then either after or before that, we do the Winnie the Pooh 50p. I will have those if anyone is interested. Uh, it'll be like £11.50 or something. Still cheaper than the Royal Mint. So yeah, I'll have those like a, day, a couple days after release. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be a nice release. I'm sure most of you are going to probably get one. Doubt it's going to be circulated. And I think, boom, we've done it. I think they've already said that it's not going to be circulated. But we got a 2011. What's it called? Botcher. I think that's the correct terminology for it. It's got green inside it. But boom, boom, boom. We have got a mission success. We found one in 250 pounds. And another Panton, as well as another Benjamin Bunny. So, yeah, the Winnie the Poohs, they're going to be really, really cool, I think. You've got three designs. It's going to be sort of like a, a new Silver Proof Beatrix Potter series because of the, like, coloured Silver Proofs. So I imagine they're going to do those. At first, it's going to be three characters. The first one is just Winnie the Pooh on its own. And then you've got Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh. And then the third coin is going to be a piglet. So you still got several more characters to do. So like I said, I imagine it's going to be a, a more ongoing thing. At first, I think they're going to release them monthly. So do a, a dinosaur sort of thing where you do September, October, November. And then maybe they'll start again in January with a 2021 uh, Winnie the Pooh set. That's just what I'm thinking. I don't know for definite yet. And when I do, obviously I'll let all of you know. But, are we still recording? We are 12 and a half minutes in. Not doing too bad. We have got a Heroic Axe. Is that our first one? Do do do. I think it is. So yeah, that's just some coin news. Hopefully, you know, you do like the little bits of uh, information I give you. I'm, I think I'm mostly right with everything I say, except from the odd couple of things. But if I'm sure and definite, then I will say it. Like I was with the V-Day coming out Monday. It was like a, a supply hit me up, said the two pound um, Agatha Christie's out soon. So then I told people it was out soon and the next minute he phones me again and says, oh, it's out Monday. Do you want to place your order? Blah, blah. So yeah, still got a few of those left. Got a dictionary. And I think, like I said, I think they'll come Wednesday and I've got around, I sold, I think around 50 on the website. So they'll all be going out, you know, ASAP. I've got all my stamps ready. I'll quickly show you. I've got all... Yeah, this is it. I've got these ready and I've got more on the way because, you know, you can just use one of these with just one coin. And then I've got more uh, metallic envelopes coming. That's for like orders of a few. And yeah, just loads of stamps. I know a lot of people do like these stamps on the parcels, which is awesome. That's the main reason why I basically buy them. Quick drink. That's why we've got a drink next to us. We've got a few bags left. Um, hopefully my voice sounds clear. The microphone's right next to me. And yeah, I just I want to know in the comments how everything goes. I will watch this video back. And hopefully it is alright. The lighting is alright. All of that good stuff. I mean, this light cost me about £30. Boom. There we go. We made our money back. £62,000 in the bag. That's what I like to see. If you don't get the joke, um, go guides. Then basically, if you don't know, you know the Sun newspaper, all that sort of stuff. They hype the coins up, and for some reason, it's the Battle of Hastings. 
that they like to say is worth 60 odd thousand mainly because of the fake and money laundering they've seen on eBay but hey 2008 shield Ah, oh, we should have been looking for the shields actually I don't normally do that but after bungle found the 2011 I am tempted I found I think the 2010 myself I was hoping well you know expecting it to be oh Taylor Gloucester um, the girl guys but then it ended up being in the shield so yeah I ideally should be looking out uh, we'll do that from maybe next time I purchased like a little pot to put on the side for all the shields but fingers crossed we find another beauty in the last we found a tower of the Lond uh, tower of london panton which i'm surprised you don't really come across them too often taylor of gloucester which is uh, another awesome one 2018 we've got a nice little pile so far and i pr i think we more than likely have Botcher for the album but if not we've found one for the album so far but more than likely I think we've got one scouts put that there how much room we got we could do another row there I think if we find anything else you've only got two bags left including this anything 2019 nothing so last bag is it going to contain one Olympic a two gardens a uh, 2018 rabbit, a flopsy, a triathlon, an offside, who knows? Probably nothing, which would be a little upsetting. Nothing, flip that round, and nothing, as you can see. So, album, let me have a look. I'll zoom out a little bit because I think, yeah, we are zoomed in. Hopefully, you can see that all okay so let me just double check botcher have we got it we do we we do so that's another spare um key finds is this absolutely filthy suffragette and i mean the botcher's in all right condition but it's still pretty bad other than that that's pretty much it this is everything we did get. Uh, not bad. We got a ba uh, Baywick of Jersey, wherever that is, right there. Big selection of Pantons. Um, we got every single one, talking about it. Both 2018s, both 2019s. So if you enjoyed this, smash the like button. Let me know down in the comments. Camera all good. Light all good. Uh, this sort of setup. We got the new mic. Well, not new, but we're using the microphone, not our phone. So if you enjoyed this bit, you know let me know and i'll keep doing them like this from now on if you don't let me know and i'll you know go back to normal but i hope you did enjoy and we've been going 18 minutes just pure talking i hope that didn't bore you to death if it did i do apologize but this is everything we did find not entirely bad and i will see you guys on thursday for a live stream if there's no video uploaded before then so have a good one and i'll see you soon